Microsoft released a generalistic multi-agent system for solving complex tasks. This is called Magentic 1. Task is to find and export missing citation of paper. When the task is given with the PDF document of the research, it's able to extract the data from the research, then it identifies the missing citation, then it's surfing the web to find the actual citation, finally it retrieves the citation and saves that in the txt file. When asked to order a shawarma sandwich, it's preparing the plan, browsing the internet at the particular location, then it's able to view the page, click those icons, find the availability, at the end it's giving the option to go to the website, confirming the availability and giving us more details in regards to making the order. The task is to describe trends in S&P 500, it's coding using Yahoo Finance and then running the code and finally it retrieves the relevant information. So how this differs from other agentic framework? This is more generalistic agentic system which means it's able to perform multiple tasks. It uses four different agents for a specific task and an orchestrator agent to orchestrate all this process. So the first agent is web surfer agent who is going to surf the web for more information. Then you got file surfer agent. Then you got coder agent to code and you got the computer terminal agent to execute the code. When a task is provided, this is a very complicated task which involves reading an image, writing Python code, running the Python code, using the output from the code, that is a PDF document, then reading the C++ source code, then compiling it, running it and returning the answer. That is a complex task. But you can see here, first it goes to the file surfer to read the image, then the coder writes the code to understand the image, it executes the code to give an output URL. So this is a archive page, then using web surfer, it's navigating to the URL and extracting the C++ code, then analyzing the C++ code using the coder agent and finally it goes to the computer terminal to execute the code. So this framework has everything built in rather than you manually creating these agents and integrating all these features. You can see the chart here showing human performance compared with AI agents. Using this magentic one you can see the performance is comparatively better than a normal large language model. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this Magentic One agents, how to configure and how to run this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Before installing, I just want to show you how this works. First, when the task is provided to the orchestrator agent, it prepares the list of steps involved in completing the task. Also, for each task, it checks whether the task is complete, is the progress being made, what is the next speaker, and next speaker instruction. So this goes in the loop whenever a request comes to the orchestrator. And based on what is the next speaker and next speaker instruction, the orchestrator sends information to relevant agent to perform task. Once after the subtask is complete and marked as done, then the whole task is complete. So first step, installation. In your terminal, type git clone and then this path and then click enter. I will provide all the code and commands in the description below. So after this, navigate to autogen and python and then click enter. Now inside this autogen python folder, we need to install all the packages. This uses uv package manager. So you might need to copy the installation code and paste it here and then click enter everything's installed. Similarly, go to docker.com to download docker. This is used by the code executor agent. Now just type uv sync all extras and then click enter. This will install all the packages. Next type source.vnv bin activate and then click enter. Now navigate to packages autogen magentic one and then click enter. Then finally pip install hyphen e dot and then click enter. These are the total list of packages. In my blog post, I've clearly written all these steps so you can just copy and paste it. Now step number two, configuration. If you see the list of agents, the web surfer agent will have a tool called Bing search tool to search the internet and the computer terminal agent will have access to docker to run the code. So in regards to web surfer, we need to set up Bing search key. So now we are going to provide internet access to this web surfer using Bing search. You can go to Bing web search API log into Microsoft Azure 
then you should be able to create a Bing search resource. Then click on Bing search. So after that, you should be able to generate your key by clicking this manage keys and you'll have your keys available in this page. Next, export your Bing API key like this and then click enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now, final step, export chat completion arguments like this and then click enter. It's all done. Now, the final step, running this AI agents. So if you actually locate the files, this is our root folder. Inside that, we got Python packages and Autogen Magentic 1. So that's where our current folder. So I'm in that location. So from that, I'm going to type Python example slash example.py and then click enter. Now we got the task to give user input. I'm going to say compare the stock price between Tesla and Apple for the past week and then click enter. Now this information will be passed to the orchestrator agent. So here you can see the orchestrator is preparing the plan. First, it's using web surfer to retrieve the historical stock price of Apple and Tesla. Then the coder to calculate the percentage change in stock prices. Then the coder analyze the trends. Then finally, it provides a summary comparing the stock price of Apple and Tesla. Here you can see it goes to the web search agent, retrieving relevant information by searching. You can see it's using the search Bing search API. It also takes OCR, optical character recognition from the screenshot. And you can see the data extracted from that page. Now it's again searching for Apple stock price. Previously it was Tesla. Next you can see it's trying to click the element from the page. So this agent has the ability to navigate through pages. I believe this is using Omni Parser. Clicking week should display the data. Then I clicked week and based on that, it again extracts the data. Finally, it extracted all the required information to compare the stock price for the past week, as you can see here, and the total change. Finally, the orchestrator reviews the plan and then realized the request has been satisfied and it gives us the final output. That is super cool. This will help us to automate our complex tasks. I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like AI agents, I've also created another video, which I'll put that here. It's about OpenAI SOMB, which I highly recommend for you to watch. And I will see you there.